Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Robin and I'm so happy to have you here. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I am sharing with you my favorite five outerwear pieces for fall. Now, I'm gonna caveat probably every video in this fall wardrobe series um, or fall fashion wardrobe series because I don't buy a whole lot of clothing often. I try to invest wisely and invest is a loose word but I try to spend my money wisely when it comes to garment and garments and I try my best to buy from reputable brands brands that I'm familiar with and brands that I know have great quality of clothing so that my clothing lasts as long as it possibly can um I think I shared this in a previous video fall is my favorite time of year and it's probably because of this also jackets blazers outerwear all of those things i'm not going to go into blazers um just know that you definitely should have a blazer but i want to talk about um five different types or i guess yeah five four or five different types of outerwear pieces that you need to have for fall specifically and especially if you live in the south so without further ado let's jump into the video Okay, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be sharing like side by sides as I'm talking about a piece and there's either a cutaway or um, a picture or something of me wearing the specific outerwear pieces. So as I explained, I, lived in, I live in the South and it's still warm outside. But when the temperatures drop, when the sun goes down, you still want to have some type of lightweight type of jacket or cardigan or something to keep you keep yourself warm so this is an old jacket I got this years ago now I know for a fact I probably bought this when I was in graduate school so over 10 years ago yeah um but it's a very lightweight jacket I probably got it from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like that because it's by DKNY jeans um but what I like about it is it has this zipper for a hidden, hidden, golly, hidden hood. Um, and I also like the floral embroidery on it. And although it is like floral embroidery, it's not a different color. It's the same color as the jacket itself. So it's not distracting from anything. It's a relatively plain jacket. Also, it has like these snaps on the sleeves. Let's see if I can do this real quickly so that you can roll the sleeves up if it's still relatively warm and you can snap it closed. I'll show you in a cutaway that just lets me know that I'm going to have to do that. But here, the snap is here so you can roll the sleeves up and still look well put together, very polished, just overall a very nice jacket. So I would highly recommend like a lightweight jacket with some versatility, a way for you to roll up the sleeves, fold up the sleeves um, so that you're either um, cool or as warm as you need to be. So lightweight jacket in whatever color. For some reason, I have green. Um, maybe my sorority colors. That's probably what it is. Um, so that's like a lightweight, casual type jacket. You know, you can wear that with jeans. You can wear it with leggings, the whole nine. This next jacket is not a blazer, but it is a double-breasted jacket. I think my BFF actually got this for me for Christmas or my birthday one year. And again, it's green because I'm an AKA and pretty girls wear pink and green. Um, this is actually a jacket that I hadn't worn in years. So I need to definitely take it to the seamstress and get the buttons secured on here. But what I like about it is one, it's a pop of color and two, it's, it's not super lightweight. It's heavier than a blazer. Um, so when it's when the weather is cool but not cold, so probably 50 degrees, you can wear a turtleneck, um, some type of sweater, knitwear up under this and still feel cool. Um, and again, the pop of color, the buttons have, they're green with gold around the perimeter. And it's just overall a nice classic style. Of jacket next up is a trench coat my favorite um, this is a trench coat I got from J crew it's just the classic style of course it has the belt um, 
to wrap around it's double breasted i believe this is also water resistant and it's such a great piece because it actually takes you takes your outfit to another level like the first time i think i no i know it wasn't the first time but the first time not the first time that i wore the jacket but the first time i styled it very casually i had on a gray two-piece like loungewear set i popped this on with the fedora and the look was amazing i wasn't even trying to be extremely stylish but it looked really good so trench coats definitely if you need to be buttoned up well put together a little polish so you have on like a black dress you got on your black heels you got your um, black jack not jacket handbag you pop this on and even though it's not black it just puts pulls your look together so trench coats do that it's just a simple classic style of coat that's heavy enough to keep you warm so this is something i would definitely wear if the temps were probably 45 to 55 something like that so it's not cold but it is chilly outside um because you know once the temperatures fall below 50 it's cold to me um so yeah you want to have that classic trench coat because they're classic they look good with anything they're easy to dress down or dress up and they just really complete a look like they just look really really effortless um I don't know what this style of coat would be and I don't even know if I can still fit this but it's very cute it it has like um, a belt to cinch you in but it's not removable um, and it's green of course because aka it's wear green but it's a really cute coat it also has three quarter length sleeves so I probably I know I've worn this I wouldn't wear this with the type of shirt that I have on now um, but a long sleeve black turtleneck if I have on an all black look I'm popping this on if the temperatures are like 40 again 40 to 55 and I want something more than the trench coat um, it's easy to throw on and just make a look look good and because it's a pop of color it's also probably unexpected but this is just like one of my favorite coats and it looks like quilted like it's a quilted quilted material not sure if that does anything it's lined but it's just a, a good coat to have for the fall and last but not least is another trench style coat now um i think skirted coats are great for hourglass figures and probably pear shaped as well anything that cinches in at the waist and just you know it doesn't stick out straight or on an angle over your butt is great this belted skirted black trench coat is by kenneth cole i know i've had this for well over 10 years so i definitely won't be able to link it but it's a classic trench style coat i don't even know if it's water resistant but it's lined and the belt you can detach it but i mean why why would you it's just it's just perfect like I said the fact that it's skirted um, to me is just like an added feature that you don't always see with trench coats but although I already showed you a trench coat a black trench coat or another you know darker color to actually take you into the winter months if that's your thing I think it's perfect in darker colors I wear them more during the fall and winter months so definitely a staple for me for times where I need to be very well put together polished I probably have on pantyhose and you know those things so you want to have another I don't know classic coat that's not the traditional trench coat color khaki beige that type of thing so those are all of my uh, my most worn fall um, outerwear pieces I love all of them I hope that I get the opportunity to wear them this year because I haven't worn some of them literally in years so I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and you can help me get there by subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos with your family and friends. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.
Bye.